Houston is a city known for its oil and gas industry, NASA, medical research centers, and lots of restaurants. You can find whatever your palate desires. In one block, you can go from Tex-Mex to Korean, from soul food to Middle Eastern. Although this may be convenient, some experts say it has caused a major problem. In 2002, an article published in Men's Fitness Magazine proclaimed Houston to be the fattest city in America. This was based on the number of parks, restaurants, walking trails, and commute time to and from work. The saying, everything is bigger in Texas, is now taking on a new meaning. Although obesity is still on the rise, Houstonians have found more ways to get into shape and live a healthier lifestyle. Obesity is defined as a person's BMI, or body mass index. Obesity is your weight in kilogram divided by the square of your height in meters. That's a lot of math, so let's break it down. If you are 5 foot 8 and 200 pounds, your BMI is 30.4. That's nearly 35 pounds overweight. This extra weight may lead to heart disease, diabetes, and other life-threatening conditions. The first step to getting fit and staying that way is to get moving. The next is sticking to it. I would, could barely stand on the bike. It was just, it was just a horrible experience. Shell Sellers has gone from novice to instructor, a path she says was not easy. She says she started spin as a way to lose weight and to get fit. She quickly fell in love with the workout, but not just for what it's doing for her body. And so it has benefited me as far as my cardio uh, benefits, uh, weight loss. Um, and the other thing that I really love about spin is that that mental health component being able to come in, spin, and just uh, releasing every care that you have in that moment just helps you throughout your day. So Healthy living is a lifestyle, and like some in the greater Houston area, Cheryl says her lifestyle was fast food, long hours at work, and bad dietary habits. This all led to bad health. I sat around, I did, I had some bad habits. Uh, I can remember a time when my fitness and my body and my health was so bad. My son and my husband had to pull me off the couch. Uh, I just had so many issues with my health, with my joints. Any exercise that's getting your heart rate elevated for a period of 20 minutes or more is beneficial for the heart. Getting the blood pumping to all the vital organs in the body, especially the brain, the heart, and all of the muscles. So, Maria Abercrombie is the owner of Best Body by Marie. She says spin is the perfect workout for anyone looking to not just lose weight, but have fun doing it. Especially as you get older, in the African American and Hispanic uh, populations, what our goal is to push health through music, something that's fun and exciting, and that you're in the class and you're working out, and you don't know that you're working, but it's so beneficial. So Elizabeth Suppley is partnering with the city of Houston to get Houstonians moving. This is Zumba. It's a fitness program that involves dance moves from all around the world. Zumba is designed to increase your cardio, burn fat, and have lots of fun. Well, there's a lot of things that make Zumba a great workout. As a personal trainer, I can say the physical benefits of Zumba are amazing. I am secretly giving you an interval cardio workout with total body toning all in one hour while you just thought you were at a dance party. But the real benefit of Zumba is what happens on the inside, not the cardiovascular part, the mental and emotional part. Nakia Hillary started out as a fitness instructor in the YMCA system years ago in Houston's Fifth Ward. She says that she has seen big changes in the city's approach to fitness over the last few years. She says Houston's Mayor Sylvester Turner is doing an excellent job leading the charge when it comes to losing the city's Fat City label. Our mayor has done a phenomenal job with adding the bike program, uh, the bikes. There was some effort so that bikes could be affordable for students and other people. But she knows there are challenges to living a fit lifestyle in a city as restaurant heavy as Houston. Nakia says programs like Zumba in the Park helps. We have to balance that wonderful food with fitness and one of the phenomenal things about this program here in the park is that it's absolutely free. Anyone can do it. You can be five years old as there are children out here and you can be all the way up to whatever age, a grandma. So it's, I think it's Houston is doing, I don't think, I know that Houston is doing a phenomenal job with encouraging and promoting people to get moving. I mean, I, yeah, I think that's great. I think it's something that we should all aspire to. We always 
It's always good to try to live a healthier life, and I think by finding fun things like Zumba to do um, makes it a lot easier. Um, I have never found a workout that I really want to stick with, but I've been doing Zumba for two years now, and it's one of the highlights of my week. Supley says that now that the city is opening up after the COVID-19 shutdown, it's time to get rid of those few extra COVID pounds. She says that her class and ones like it are a great option. Outdoor fitness classes are a great way to get up and get moving safely um, and have a great time with expert instructors like myself. WalletHub.com ranks Houston as one of the top 20 cities in America when it comes to food and number one when it comes to diversity accessibility, and quality of food, making Houston a true foodie city. Back in 2012, former Mayor Elise Parker started the Healthy Houston program to encourage restaurants to offer a healthy alternative on their menu. It's a program that continues today. Elizabeth Supley says it's all a matter of baby steps. Tiny changes and big results. Don't go in your pantry and throw away everything and replace it with carrot sticks. Don't throw out your couch and replace it with an elliptical trainer. Just start where you are and give yourself 10 minutes today to make your day better, make yourself feel better. And maybe that's a 10 minute workout, maybe it's a 10 minute walk, but maybe you need to take 10 minutes and invest in meal prep. Starting your health journey may not be easy for some. With the right diet, exercise plan, living a healthy lifestyle, is within reach. For Be Busy News, I'm Raf Nickerson.